this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Easy, no. They took her. Mm. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. Mm. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Just whether to trust Sophia or Hatch. All right. <laughs> hold on. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only mm. trust one of them. Right. All right, let's see. I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Mm. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Mm. And she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. Let's see what's going on with this guy. All right, Emerald. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. But she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have any like real basis for um, choosing either one of them. I don't really know. Like they didn't really, I guess there was more, probably some more information about her. I just didn't read it. <laughs> but um, Hatch, they have been together. Serena was working with him this whole time. He gave the speech. He did all the stuff. I'm all uh, she's just new into the scene and I don't know. Like, I don't know. I 
Here's my thing. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I don't really know what I think. <laughs> uh, this is hard. Because, I, I mean, we know about Hatch what we know about him. And, like, he's been with Serene this whole time throughout the game. So if it's about who... He trusts, like, he trusts the doctor... I had just kind of been like there this whole time with them. Like making sure plans executed, all this stuff. He's still, he's even suspicious of uh, Liam Burke, all that. So it's almost like he's looking out for Serene when Serene's not looking out for himself. But I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's the closest ones to you that be like, you know, Trying to do some more background shadiness. Um, I don't know. This the only reason why I'm gonna go with Hatch is because, like, I seen him in like Rise of Zero Dawn, and he was like kind of weird then, but you know. Yeah, I'm not going to get no spoilers in case somebody hasn't played it yet. But, I mean, I like them in that game. Seen them in movies. So, I'm just going to go with him. See what happens. Uh... You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. Security feed. My God, it's her. Mm. Who? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got to <gasps> for you to screen everybody personally. <sighs> we didn't have an idea on her. Until now, mm. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. See, we've already got a kill team after, but we won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul. We can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? I don't know whose side I'm on. <laughs> Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name, but she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been here the whole time. The whole time. Me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Thirty-two percent of the community agree with your choice. So, <clears throat> on this last thing with Beth, I kind of got a funny feeling about Beth too, because it was like she just came out of nowhere, and it was like she was already like kind of hanging in the wings, waiting for him. And then she made that comment a while back about, like, you know, she been, I don't know, training for this or, you know, waiting for this her whole life or something like that. Like, I got to go back through the video and pull that up. But it's almost like she like she just kind of knew what all, all, you know, all of this, how all this stuff was going to play out or whatever. Or somebody prepared her or whatever. Like, what is her role like what is she trying to accomplish here and why is she helping Jack like you know you just a just a random I won't say a random character but she just like there 
So I don't know, even if she's trustworthy at this point, like I got a funny feeling about her too. I'm a little suspicious of her too, to be honest, but we'll see how this shakes out. Um, 